So anytime I've shared or posted photos of my setup on Facebook or Instagram, there is one question that almost always comes up. Now if you've just clicked on this video in hopes of grabbing some wallpapers for your triple monitor setup, I have provided a link below to my Dropbox where you can grab some of these. All I ask in return is you hit that like button and if you enjoy the sim racing content here, I encourage you to subscribe to the channel. But if you stick around for a bit, I'll show you the easiest way to convert most images to fit and span across all your screens. So I hope you'll stay for a bit. I should also note that I don't take credit for any of the images or photography. Most of these were obtained through the auto manufacturer's press media gallery websites. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's get started with the tutorial. So the first thing you're gonna need is some sort of graphic or photo editing software. Now I'm using Adobe Photoshop, which some of you may be familiar with or use or have already. But if you have a different piece of software, you can probably achieve the same results here that we're looking for and the steps may be a little bit different, but relatively the same. So essentially what we wanna do is create a custom template or a custom canvas in this case. We wanna make sure that's set to the total re resolution of our three monitors. In my case, I have three 32 inch 1440p monitors and they're set at, uh, at a resolution of 1440p, right? So your total resolution is gonna be 7680 by 1440. So we'll set our width and we'll set our height of pixels to that, uh, to that resolution. Uh, the resolution pixels per inch, I just leave that at 300 and that works fine for me. You could play around with that and may alter the, the total file size. The background contents we don't need to worry about because we're gonna cover the entire canvas, so it doesn't matter what's behind that. But in the case if you were going to use a smaller image, then you may wanna set that to black or something depending on what you're doing. But in this case of this example, I'm gonna show you how we span all, uh, all the canvas basically. So we'll create that. And now we are left with our beautiful triple screen monitor resolution. So this should span across all three monitors when you set it. So let's take in our first image and I'm gonna explain a couple of things here in terms of selecting the, the right image. The key here is you want an image that to begin with is a very high resolution. This image you see here is from Porsche's media website. So it's a media gallery uh, where they post very high quality, high res images for the press to use in publications and things like that. They're, they're free to download so you can access them any, anytime. The, the resolution of this photo is 8640 by 5760. So when we span this out, it's not gonna, we're not gonna lose the resolution too much. The other thing that's important is that I've selected this photo specifically because the cars themselves are set further back. So you've got a lot more uh, space here from the grass in the sky. So we'll take our shift key and to, to basically expand this while we hold the shift key it keeps the aspect of the photo. This is for uh, Photoshop specifically. And you'll see now we can bring this image in without losing the cars and span that across all three screens, right? So we can get that nice and centered. And then there you go, you have a triple monitor wallpaper, right? So very easy, I know you're thinking like, wow, this isn't a big deal, but some people may have not even thought to try this. A light bulb just went off in my head one day how to do this. And now I can create any wallpaper I want to work across all triple screens. So yeah, let me just show you another quick example. Uh, I'm gonna show you with another photo. This one's from McLaren. Now the reason I really like this photo is because look how small the car is into relation to the rest of the photo. So this is gonna give us a lot of space to stretch this out and get this car into position. And look at that. That's gonna look great on a triple screen, right? Cause this might be your center monitor and then you'll have the rest of the, the track on your other side. So it's gonna look like the car is going across all three screens. So yeah, I mean, it's really simple guys, really easy to do. You don't have to have any crazy Photoshop skills. I sure don't to do this. Uh, it's just a matter of setting up that canvas making sure you have that resolution set on your monitors. Your, yours might be slightly different than mine, but the same principles basically apply here, right? So I'll do, I'll do one more here just for fun, just to give you another example, give you some ideas. Um, like I said, these media websites have a lot of these high-res images. I know Porsche and McLaren have these images for download. So I don't take credit for any of these images, guys. These are just showing you how to transform these, that's all. 
and there you go. All right, so you got the two GT3s, another beautiful wallpaper, really easy to do. So I appreciate you guys watching. If this was helpful or you thought this was cool in any way, you know, I hope you go out there and create lots of wallpapers for yourself. Uh, hit that like button, please. I appreciate it. And if you like and enjoy some recent content, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'll be posting more content in the future. But until then, stay safe and happy racing out there.